What's up, y'all? Black Balloons back with another video. Look, today, um, I'm just kind of going to point out a few things. Um, and maybe make make y'all think about a few things and question a few things. I don't know. If you look up and you pay attention to the sky, and if you pay attention to things that are around the moon and the sun throughout the night or throughout the day. And... Um, it's stuff that I've been noticing. I've been noticing noticing um, some strange shit lately. And um, it's a lot of stuff that I didn't notice when I was a kid, you know. Um, obviously, you know, um, you, didn't, you don't pay attention to this kind of stuff. But still, you know, it's, it's certain things that you would have noticed, you know, without having to do, you know, much looking. And um, it's certain things like, why now in the moon, I mean in the morning, do I notice, or or even even sometimes at five o'clock in the afternoon, um, I'll see the moon out at the same time as the sun. Um, just like the other day, the other day it was it was completely sunny outside, completely. I think it. it it might have been about four thirty. You know, um, I don't. I don't think it was quite five yet. And the moon was out. Like it was blue skies, and the moon was out. And usually, I'll see this in the morning time. Obviously, unless it's cloudy, I'll see the moon. Uh, I'll see the moon out with the sun out at the same time. And this is something I never used to see as a kid. Just growing up, you would four o'clock in the in the middle of the day or toward the you know beginning of the evening or whatever, you would never see the moon out at the same time as the sun. The sun hasn't even set yet. Um, so in my mind, it makes me question: What the hell are we actually looking at? Why is today? Why is the sun? brighter in whiteness instead of its natural like orangish orangish reddish color the sun is more white and i once was talking to somebody right somebody that's not even like it's not to say they're not on my level spiritually but they just don't pay attention to this kind of stuff they don't even get into you know researching this type of stuff and it was hot that day. And it was just like, just randomly, we weren't even having a conversation about anything. It was just something random they said. And they was like, wow, they was like, man, this don't be burning. This sun, it burns my skin. And then they were like, they were like, yo, this, this can't be the same sun that was here when we were kids. And I didn't even say nothing. Because, you know, you know, um, I think about this kind of stuff a lot, you know, very aware of certain things that's going on in the universe and in the skies, you know, and definitely spiritually. I didn't even respond. I was just like, hmm, I was like, shit, you right. You know, because I knew, you know, their spirit was telling them something without them even realizing what they were saying. There was, it was no need for me to continue or expand on what they said because then I would have been taking it too far. When they were just saying it, as something that was just coming out of their mind, you know, not knowing that what they were saying was the complete truth and and it's exactly what is going on right now. So you got to ask yourself, is that actually the moon we looking at when they're out at the same time? You know, it makes you think about everything that goes on in the skies, how stars don't even look like stars. Have you ever seen a real video of a star? It doesn't, it's not like, uh, it's not like that star of Lucifer, you know, that five pointed star, or whatever. It doesn't look like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it makes you question, what are we looking at? Are we looking at, you know, different heavenly bodies that are entering our realm? Because, uh, of the shift consciously that we are experiencing and what the earth is actually going through. You know, this starts with the earth. The earth is shifting itself. As we are raising our vibrations, 
the earth is doing the same. We basically receive this knowledge from the earth, from the universe. And so, which is why this is all possible. And they are all witnesses to how it's gonna go. The heavenly bodies, the spirits that are here, um, you know, um, all the gods and goddesses, they're here witnessing it. Because I think it's the first time that it's on the level that it's actually gonna be on. You know, um, can I say it and be like so physical with it that like, oh, you know, certain people are going to be left behind in the third dimension and, you know, other people are going to experience the fifth dimension. You know, I can't, I can't say that, you know, um, because I don't, I don't know. I don't know completely, you know, but I definitely know that a shift is taking place and it's why so much is increasing, you know, um, so many things that the elites are doing right now is so we don't get this information, we don't get this download, we aren't able to make it. We aren't able to shift consciously and collectively right along with Earth and the universe as we are supposed to. This is why a lot of us are waking up right now and you're finding out why you're truly here. You're on a mission for this time right here, right now. And this is why all this stuff is coming out, you know, why there's so much spraying in the skies. And like I said before, you notice they spray it right around the sun, you know, right around the sun. And maybe, maybe, maybe it's, you know, maybe it's affecting the natural light of the sun. Although it does take about eight minutes, I think, for the sun's light to actually reach Earth, you know, so it's like, when you're looking up at the sun, you're almost looking in the past. But anyway, um, maybe that's affecting naturally what the sun gives off as far as light and the energy and, you know, downloads and, um, you know, everything we receive from the sun. Um, also, you know, um, 5G is another is another step to block us from basically reaching that collective consciousness, as I always say, and shifting with the earth. You know, because 5G is basically, um, it is gonna fuck up a lot of shit. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen videos about that. Um, so my questions today is what we are looking at. Is that is that really what it's been the entire time? Is that really the moon? Um, what has happened to the sun? Why is it hotter? Why is it more glaring to look at? It's whiter now. Just go out and look. Don't listen to me. Just go and go and look yourself. You know what I'm saying? Go find these things out. You know, I'm here to put these questions in your head. I'm the messenger. I'm here to be a message. Um, and to just make you think about this kind of stuff, you know?